Um, let's talk about work, my work schedule um, and what our days kind of look like. So our work days can kind of um, vary, um, but everyone in youth activities will work either nine hours, nine and a half hours, 10 hours or 10 and a half hours every single day. There are no days off on a cruise ship for us, so it is a continuous uh, cycle of work. So if your contract is four months, five months, four and a half months, whatever, you'll work every single day. Start times and end times can vary um, on the cruise ship and for us in our department. So in the kids club, you could really, you could be starting work at seven in the morning in Vibe. You probably, the earliest you're gonna work is from 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, and the latest you could be starting could be 3.30, 4 o'clock, sometimes even 4.30 at night. So you might have actually a morning, um, almost a, pretty much a day in the morning to, to, to do whatever you wanna do. But um, you also be finishing at 1 a.m., uh, 1.30 a.m. or 2 a.m., 2.30, things like that. And you could be doing that for five days in a row. So you could be finishing at 1 a.m. for five days in a row. That's how the schedule has you. So um, be prepared to work uh, late nights and stuff like that. It's not as simple as just working in the morning until like 10 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night. It is a full long day. And your work day could actually be spread out over like 14 or 15 hours of the day because you could work five and a half hours, have one half an hour break and then go back to work for five hours and then finish for the day. Or you could go to work for three hours, have two hours off, go back to work for another three hours, have an hour off and then work again till the rest of the day. So like you could have loads of breaks during the day. You could have like a four hour break during the day. You could have two half hour breaks during the day. So your, your, your work day, isn't condensed it could be spread out over 15 hours so that you do, your start and finish really is 15 hours apart from each other which also can be exhausting even if you have a break in between sometimes if you do have like a big break in the middle of the day the things you're either going to do is you're either going to eat um, and then you're going to sleep uh, maybe watch a movie or something like that on the cruise ship when you only have like half an hour breaks you learn to eat quick because you've got to get from your workplace um, to the crew mess, wash your hands, get in line, get your food, get your drink, sit down, eat, try and socialize a little bit, um, and then get back to work. Now, if you wanna, you know, squeeze in, or so I say squeeze out a bathroom trip, um, you've, gotta, <laughs> you've gotta be able to do that very quickly as well, because Disney Cruise Line does not appreciate lateness in any way. Um, even like just a couple of minutes late can get you in trouble. So you really have to learn to be so when we are not at work, what do we do and what are our privileges? So if you can get a good early finish, like seven o'clock, 7.30, sometimes even earlier than that, then what you can do is you can actually put in a dining request in a few days before to go and eat in one of the, the crew restaurants. So why are we allowed to go and eat uh, in the guest restaurants? We can go there as long as our manager approves it and then as long as the, the manager on the day um, and lets us in if there's space. This is good because it kind of makes you feel like a, a normal person for a little bit. You get to sit in a nice kind of dining area and you get nice food and I like crew mess food. Um, and we can just order whatever you, whatever you want off the menu. So you'll see, you'll know who crew are um, because they'll have like three main courses, a couple of starters and like six desserts. Um, we order everything. We don't have to pay. Um, for the food but we do uh, pay for a, the service fee so um, each crew member will pay a small fee which goes towards the crew who are serving them which is only fair because we are an additional um, we are an additional kind of uh, workload for them they, we wouldn't have been there otherwise so we pay a small service fee which goes to the people who served us which we don't mind on top of dining requests we can also go and watch the shows so the big main shows in the theater whether it's beauty and the beast believe or golden mickeys for us and we can go and watch those shows. Again, it's kind of about whether or not there's room for us, but generally there's always a few seats at the back and stuff we, we can get. So I've watched Beauty and the Beast a million times and Believe on the ship. Um, not a big fan of Golden Mickeys. Like my order is Beauty and the Beast, Believe, Golden Mickeys. Um, we can also go to the cinema, which is where I go to a lot. Normally there's about three or four films on, on the ship at a time. Um, so it's often the new Disney films that have come out. And, all, and what happens is when the films get released in America, the cruise ship gets them the same night and they play it like sometimes at 11 o'clock or, or 12 o'clock so um, we get to watch the films or the guests get to watch the films as I say uh, pretty much straight away and then they're on the ship for months so we have plenty of time to go and watch the new films again that's all free on the, on the, on the cruise ship and for us as well so we go to the cinema it's what I like to do it's my favorite place to go um, we can use the guest pools um, and like the, like the hot tubs and stuff uh, as long as it's not busy it's not crowded um, we can go up there and long like we, we don't basically don't the rules are for us is we can go to places as long as we don't take up room so you know if it's busy and we take a deck chair up 
um, give up that deck chair, don't, don't sit there because obviously people are paying thousands, they want to fight <laughs> for a deck chair with us. I've been talking so much, my voice hurts, my throat hurts. So in YA and youth activities, there's roughly somewhere between 75 staff members um, and sometimes right up to 100, that's including all the managers and stuff like that. Um, so there's quite a lot of us that work in, in that department and we are from all over the world. There are many nationalities in youth activities, obviously English, you'll find Australians, obviously you'll find Americans, you'll find Mexicans, Argentinians, Brazilians, um, just, uh, there's probably more that I'm forgetting off the top of my head, Spanish, um, there will be more. There will be more, I just can't think of them off the top of my head. There's quite a few. South Africans, that just popped into my head. And most people in youth activities are aged between like 20 and 40, early 40s or something like that. I think I would say that the majority, like average age of youth activities is probably, I'm gonna say like 26, 27, with a lot of people falling in that kind of mid 20 range. A lot, some people in their 30s, and then you've got some younger people as well who are just like 10, 21 couple of people who are 20 and, and stuff like that so there is a mixed age group for Disney uh, Cruise Line there are some people that have worked there for a couple of years some people that have worked there for quite a long time and um, so it really is just a mixture of experiences and nationalities and cultures and just it is just a huge kind of mix of, of stuff with working with so many people there is also a constant uh, revolving door of people in and out so every Friday people leave the ship and get on the ship to go on vacation come back from vacation and new people so it's just constantly ever changing on, on the ship of who you're working with like some faces you see one week they won't be there the next and then you'll you won't see them again for you know, another six weeks or something like that so um, it's, it's very hard sometimes because you go oh I, I like you we're friends and then they go and they disappear and then they come back and you with them for a little week and then you disappear as well so it's a huge revolving door of staff but YA personally I think has some of the best social events on the ship YA has a bit of a, a reputation for being a kind of a party uh, department a kind of like an outgoing loud like people know you're in YA even if they've never seen you wear the bright yellow stuff they know who works for youth activities and who doesn't we're also very extremely competitive everybody in YA is very competitive um, they, they like joining in they like participating they like just being involved like you will find youth activities at every single crew event that happens you will find youth activities there uh, every single night no matter what night it is, you will find a youth activities person in the crew bar, whether they're socialising or just playing games. Um, so we do a lot of that type of stuff. So um, you'll find a lot of people just playing games in the hallways, whether it's Uno or whatever whatever it is, we'll be playing that type of stuff. There's also a huge social life. So if you do like having that kind of party atmosphere, obviously there are rules and restrictions on the cruise ship of what we can and cannot do, but it doesn't mean we can't have um, some fun here and there. And so there are there are parties, there are some cabin parties, like people invite people around. Um, it's a very small space with a lot of people in. Some people have like a few pre-drinks here or there. Um, and then like, there's different events that happen throughout the week. So that type of stuff um, is very social. So if you, if you like that, you can go and do that. If you don't like that kind of party atmosphere, there's also a different stuff there is, there is game nights and things like that so there is something for everyone uh, as crew to find and do and keep entertained in your in your off time but youth activities is probably um the department on the ship that most people do not like in terms of like being annoying <laughs> people find that our, our our department to be annoying because there's so many loud and outspoken um people in, in youth activity i think that's just kind of the nature of the people we are um, and a lot of people are is just to be very kind of confident to a to a degree um, and so everyone knows who, who we are we also get the blame for pretty much everything and anything that goes wrong it's youth activities fault um, so we get the blame for that stuff because again we're easy to recognize ah it was the person in yellow it was their fault they they did it so yeah we have to deal with that a lot we used to, in the crew mess, we used to all sit at this like really long table, a couple of really long tables, and everyone at dinner break would just come in and we'd just sit together and it was just, it was really nice. But people complained, other departments complained because we were like, they said we were too loud, uh, we alienated other crew members because we all sat together, it was like intimidating apparently for other people. So uh, the crew mess people decided to rearrange the tables and instead of having the big long ones, we had smaller round circle ones that were dotted out a place, which I think made it worse because instead of having all the youth activities together, 
we now spread out and it just took up a lot more tables and we're still talking to each other so we're still loud because we're shouting now across across the crew mess to each other so I don't know people always target youth activities we are the, the, the department to target if you are interested in seeing a lot more of the, the social side of the ship, obviously I've got my vlogs and stuff and you can find out the, the, the murder mystery, the lip sync battles, all that type of stuff that we've been doing, I filmed it. So you can look through my vlogs and you can find that um, on there as well. Oh, my voice has absolutely gone. I've talked quite a lot. I don't normally like talking. I don't like talking loads like, at the camera like this, but I hope that um, it's been somewhat interesting and you've, you've found out some of the information that maybe you wanted to try and find out. Again, if you if there's more stuff you want to know, let me know in the down below and I can answer the questions like I normally do. Um, again, thank you for watching. Um, I've been Ash and I will make more videos in, in the coming weeks. Um, I'll post once a week from now on. Uh, I've been posting like twice a week often, but I'm gonna be posting once a week from now on. So if you are new, thank you for watching. Come join us, subscribe, obviously like the video as, they, as the YouTubers say. Um, and I will see you next time for another video. And I need to go and recover this voice. <sighs> Have a good week, bye bye.